This subject is one of the key subjects for the 21st century and beyond. We are extremely excited about this new MSc course because we believe that it is unique, certainly to the UK and possibly to the world. My name is Professor Patrick Gaidetsky and I am the director of one of the new MSc courses in the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Digital Imaging and Signal Processing, acronymically named as DISP. I'm working on a project that uses electrical impedance tomography to image the brain. Recently I won an award, it was called the Wise Excellence Award, which was awarded by Princess Anne down at the Royal Academy of Engineering in London. The award was in recognition of all the work that I've done to recruit women and girls into science and engineering. My name is Dr. Hu Jin Yi. In our new DISP MSc course, we teach a module called Image Engineering. It covers human visual systems, imaging devices, imaging systems, feature extraction, and pattern recognition. Typical applications include face recognition, image and video retrieval systems, and hyperspectral imaging processing. I came to Manchester to do a, a Master's in Digital Instrumentation and I also ended up doing a PhD in Digital Instrumentation and Signal Processing as well. I found myself in an environment which is very creative and in which one has all the facilities available to be able to move on and progress with ideas that one has created. Digital Sciences Digital Imaging and Signal Processing is one of the key technological drivers of the 21st century. It is at the heart of almost everything that we consider to be modern. So if you think about, for example, digital televisions, telecommunications, radar imagery, medical signal processing, the entertainment industry, biological sciences, military research, all of these subjects are rooted in digital technology. Here at the University, I work on a project that uses electrical impedance tomography. We are imaging the brain when we put clicks in people's ears and flashlights in people's eyes. And the idea is, is that we're trying to actually see how the brain responds to those in sub-seconds. So the device that we've built here at the University, from hardware all the way through to the firmware software, we're able to actually monitor the brain at very, very fast, 100 frames per second which means that within one minute's worth of um, capturing the data, we've got 3.27 million data points which we're able to take off and analyse. I'm Dr John Oakley and I'm a member of the teaching and research staff of the School of Electrical and Electronic Engineering. On our new course, I teach a module called Image Processing. One aspect is image encoding for transmission and human viewing. Another aspect is image enhancement, where we want to improve the image in some way. And the third aspect is automation of visual intelligence, where we want to automate a visual task, such as object recognition or object counting. And we'll be using state-of-the-art software that allows a task to be specified by a block diagram, modified and implemented automatically. So this will be part of the practical work associated with our module. One of the things that we teach on the course is how to build and program real-time signal processing systems for audio. And the board that you see in front of you is called a Signal Wizard system, which we produce and sell commercially. This board is an 8-channel audio surround sound processor. It samples audio data at 96 kHz and with 24-bit resolution. In order to perform the various complex effects in real time, the central processor has to be able to conduct 1 billion multiplications and additions each second. During the laboratory sessions, students will use this board. They will make use of the software already developed to experience the special effects that it can conduct but more than this, students will develop their own algorithms, which again are based on the equations which are discussed at a theoretical lectures during the lectures. And from this they will gain an insight into the translation of theoretical descriptions into practical effects. And these effects are used every day in industry, in telecommunications, in multimedia and a host of other applications.
My current project concerns the development of a system that will be used to monitor urinary incontinence in, in the aged or in anybody for that matter. I'm working on the development of the electronics module for this project uh, which will detect a signal, a urinary incontinence signal from an underwear and transmit the information that this has been detected onto a, a mobile phone or several mobile phones. If you study this subject at the University of Manchester, there is a world of opportunity respecting careers. For example, biomedical signal and image processing, inverse reconstruction techniques for tomography, non-destructive testing, security applications, telecommunications, mobile communications, the entertainment industry, and space-borne instrumentation for deep space probes. If you come to study with us at the University of Manchester, we promise you a rewarding, fulfilling and enriching experience.